All right, hey Panthers. So our goal for today, our assignment for today is to get the basics drawn for our self-portrait. So what I have here is I have a mapped out drawing explaining specifically where our facial features go. Our facial features like our eyes, our nose, our lips, our eyebrows, these things need to go in the correct spot on your face in order for your self-portrait to be accurate, to be correct, all right? So what you're going to see in this picture right here is that I have a face drawn in pencil, and you might notice I have these red lines going vertical and horizontal, all right? These lines are here as guidelines. You are not going to draw them in red. I just have them in red so you can see what they are. So we have our vertical line that splits the face in half up and down. We have a horizontal line from left to right that splits the face from left to right. That is where we know to put our eyes, right on that halfway line. All right, top of the eye goes above the line, bottom of the line, bottom of the eye goes below. You're going to see from my eye to my chinny chin chin, I cut that in half, and that's where my nose goes. And then from my nose to my chin, I cut that in half, and that's where your mouth goes. All right, you guys might notice some other details. You want to make sure that you have a neck. We don't want to just have a floating head in here. So we have a neck. And then our shoulders go to the sides of the frame. We don't have these like little shoulders. Sometimes I see you guys do these like strange shoulders that go down like this. And you're like, no, 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 that doesn't work. Your shoulders are way bigger. They're going to go to the left and right side of the frame. Here's what my project looks like finished. All right. What I want you guys to understand is that we are not going to be doing this today. We are only going to be drawing the face and making sure everything goes in the right spot. Tomorrow on Friday, and until I see you guys in art and get, again, you guys will then have the rest of your art time to work on coloring, doing your hair, working on your background. All the color and all the details are going to happen tomorrow and, and, uh, and beyond. Today, my expectation for us, our assignment for today is to just draw our faces in pencil and make sure we have all of our facial features in the right spot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be walking you guys through how to get started, how to place your facial features, and really what to do. So I have a blank piece of paper here. I'm going to turn my computer around, and I'm going to go through those basic steps to get your faces drawn. All right. So let me turn this around. It's a lot easier for me to draw when I have the computer going the correct way. I can't exactly draw this one upside down. Okay. So what we're going to be doing is the first step, and I want you guys to become used to this. Please, make sure your piece of paper for a portrait or for a self-portrait like this project, our piece of paper is going to be vertical like this. We want to make sure it's vertical so you can fit everything in. If you were to draw it this way, you would have this person here and you have so much space on the left and right side, it would waste a whole piece of paper. So that's why, I didn't mean to draw on the paper here, whoops. That's why we're going to go vertical so we can fit all of our features in and not waste the paper. Okay, so here we go. First thing I like to do, and again folks, if you happen to have a ruler and you want to do a nice beautiful straight frame, please do that. I'm going quickly because I don't want this video to last forever. <laughs> You don't want it to be too long. Give yourself a nice big frame. And your first step, everyone, is you're going to draw a nice big oval. A big oval, and that's going to be your head. And draw everything lightly. You never know. You might make a mistake. Odds are you probably will, because I do all the time. So I'm going to make sure I'm drawing lightly. I also, it's helpful, folks, to have a mirror in front of you so you can make sure that you have all your facial features, you're seeing all your details. All right, this will work. And then I want to add a neck. So remember, guys, no floating heads around here. A neck, 
And I'm going to do a little ring like this. That's where my t-shirt's going to be. And then my shoulders are going to go out to the edge. This is a good start. This could be anything at this point. So big deal stuff. Now here's what we're going to do next. If you remember from that picture, I had those red lines that indicated where everything's supposed to go. You're not drawing them in red. You're just going to draw them very lightly. So I start with a very light vertical line that cuts my face in half. This line, all these guidelines, they're going to be erased eventually. But right now we need them, so we place everything correctly. Horizontally, I'm going to cut the face in half horizontally like this. Okay, so you should pretty much have a plus sign right in the middle of your face. And what this does is it tells me my eyeball is going to go here. My eyes are going to get placed here. And you guys can see if your eyes are too big, if they're too small, so what? Erase it and readjust. You have them to look something like this. And again, look at yourself in the mirror. You guys decide what your eyes look like. If you have some eyelid exposed... If you don't, try to get those details in there if you can. All right. And next, from my eye to my chin, I'm going to do another horizontal line. Cut that in half. This is going to be where my nose goes, the end of my nose. And hopefully you had some time to practice drawing a nose earlier this week. So from my nose to my chin, I'm going to cut it in half one more time. And that's going to be my mouth. That's where my mouth is going to go. Okay, so hopefully we have our basics in line. I really just care about where our eyes, nose, and mouth are. Oftentimes I have eyes floating in the middle of the forehead and places where it doesn't belong. Next. This section here, guys, from my eyes to my nose, that's actually going to be your ears. You have to draw them because if you don't have ears, it's very hard to figure out where your hair goes. All right, I'm going to erase that line because my ears are certainly part of my head. If you wear earrings, you can definitely draw some in your earlobes right there if you want to. You don't have to. All right, and then my next step is hair. Oh my gosh, hair can just be a shape, guys. So, for example, if you're a, a boy that has, like, short hair, maybe you just want to draw what you have. Bring your sideburns down here. This is where a mirror is totally needed. You got to draw what you have. So you're just going to draw a shape. I don't want to see you guys just drawing just little hairs like that. That looks so strange. It doesn't look very accurate. So draw the kind of hair that you have. If you have, that's one way to do it. Maybe you have um, bangs. So if you have bangs, decide, okay, I part my hair over here. My hair goes to my ears here. And then I also have bangs. There you go. And then maybe you have a ponytail, so you could do something like this. Your hair goes in the ponytail and down your back. So you guys, take a look in the mirror. Please make sure you're drawing what you have. The hair is really important. You wanna make sure it's as accurate as possible. Maybe you have curly hair. Same idea. So instead of your shaping smooth like this, Maybe you add that texture, you add that curl. All right, and then you guys also can start putting in your details, especially around the eye. Eyelashes, this lady is missing some eyebrows too. We wanna to get those in there. Looks very strange if you don't have eyebrows. Okay, so all I really am expecting today, all right, is for you guys and gals to draw yourselves. Just draw yourself in pencil. You do not need to color. You do not need to Sharpie. You don't need to do any of that stuff. I just care about you guys drawing your face 
doing those guidelines like I showed you, and then placing your eye, your nose, your mouth, shoulders, get all of your portrait drawn in pencil today. Share with me what you've done. I'll give you some feedback if you need to go back and change anything. All right, good luck, artists.